trains are all on their feet. Go out and get them Steelers. Bradshaw and Rocky and Franco and Lee. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Coach, a lot of people were worried coming into this new season that we didn't meet the needs of the inside linebacker either through the draft or bringing Bostic in. As the position coach, how are you feeling with the progress of the unit right now? Uh, I think we're progressing, and I'm, I'm satisfied with it. You know, we, we got a long way to go. I mean, we got a lot to replace. You know, Ryan was a great player, and uh, he's not going to be out there this year. But right now, you know, it's still pretty early, but we, we have – possibilities you know what I mean like John's a good player he's experienced Tyler you know Vince is a, is a very good hard-working leader you know a lot of good qualities he has and you know you, you have to fill in for Ryan but we got it and you know we're not afraid of the challenge and, and so we're you know it's progressing and, and I'm pleased with where we're at right now this term that's been thrown around is hybrid defense that you have more undersized linebackers instead of a Brian Urlacher or a Ray Lewis that's going in the Hall of Fame this weekend. That theory of a hybrid offense with the inside linebackers, is that so they can cover pass out of the backfield with Levy on Bells? That's the premise behind uh, it? Yeah, it's twofold. You know, uh, you know, it's a passing league. You know, quarterbacks are the number one priority. And, um, you know, you get a lot of chunks throwing the ball and, you know, the more value you have as a uh, dual threat like Le'Veon is really big. So, you know, that's just how the game's going, and it's getting smaller at our level. You know what I mean? There's not, you know, fullbacks are, are they're not extinct yet, but, you know, some teams don't have them, and it's, it's a tight end. And if you have a tight end who could block and catch like Heath Miller, then you're, you're you know, you're really good for a couple years. So you have to get people to cover those people and you know big linebackers okay aren't necessarily capable of doing that you know what I mean you got to have a guy who could match up with a tight end you know running down the field you know like Antonio Gates and you know uh, you know Travis Kelsey and other guys like that so you know the coverage because of the nature of the game now being more pass oriented leads you to get the guys who stop the run off the field more, and that's that's where my guys come in, you know. So, uh, you know, my guys have to learn to cover the pass better, or <laughs> you know, they're not going to be there. And, the, and these hybrids are coming in, and I, I think you know, uh, Ryan, we were lucky because he was a hybrid before the hybrids. You know what I mean? He he's an inside linebacker, but he could do everything. You know, so it was great to have him, but. Uh, like I said, you know, this year he's not going to be there, so we have to find a replacement. And then, you know, where does that come from? Does it come from my room, or does it come from Coach Bradley's room? And uh, mm. you know, the scouts have done a good job, and Coach Tomlin does a good job seeing how the trends in the in the league are going, and and that's where we're going. And now we try to get everything ironed out, and you know, in a couple of weeks we'll be ready to roll. Roger that. All right, one question. I know Coach Tomlin doesn't like to live in the past. He's about the future. But I was adamant last year, and you're gonna call me crazy, coach. I was adamant that James Harrison should have been moved in to inside linebacker to take over for Ryan, predicated upon his strength to take on linemen, predicated on his ability just to move laterally to cover the run from guard to tight end. Probably couldn't drop into pass coverage, but at any point was that a consideration to move James inside? Uh I don't really know the answer to that. You'd have to ask Coach Tomlin, you know, like it, it didn't come up in conversation, you know, and uh, James, since he's retired now, I can't say he was a great player, you know, but, uh, you know, and, you know, just thinking about it, I think James could play inside, you know. I mean, I, 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 I didn't really ever see him practice in there or, you know, in some of the sub stuff he would stand up and be behind the line. So he, he's been there. He did some in Cincinnati, but I didn't see any of that film. So, you know, that, that's a possibility. But like I said, that, that's above above <laughs> my law, knowledge. I didn't know. I, I would just be speaking as a fan to, to say anything.